Hi, my name is Amy Dabell. I'm your Norwex Independent Consultant. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a fresh produce wash. I use this every time I bring fruits and veggies in the house, whether it's from the grocery store or from a neighbor's garden, whether it's uh, regular or organic, I use it with everything. So there's two ways to use it. Number one, you can use it as a soak and you would soak your veggies one to two minutes. I've had these in here about a minute. And the other way is as a spray. I tend to use it as a soak. I feel like it goes farther. So as a soak, you use one tablespoon per two cups of water. So um, as a spray, you would just use a spray nozzle and quickly spray. So when you're using it as a soak, you soak for one or two minutes. When you use it as a spray, it takes about 30 seconds. Again, I just personally like it as a soak. We also have a really nice fruit and veggie scrub cloth, which is scrubby on one side and soft to polish on the other side. I don't know about you, but whenever I buy apples from a grocery store, they're very waxy. They look very pretty, but when you touch them, it has that waxy film. What I find is with our fruit and veggie cloth, I'm able to get that wax off very quickly and then I can polish them back up with the soft side. So I'm just gonna do a quick wipe. So with our fruit and veggie wash, it is plant-based, it's biodegradable, it removes all your unwanted chemicals, um, the residue from fertilizers, and if you do get it from a neighbor's garden, it will remove the dirt, it will remove anything bugs left on it, and any bacteria, whether it's natural bacteria or bacteria from the grocery store, if other people had been picking it up and looking at it, um, and anything it might have picked up along the way to get to your house. So this will remove all of that bacteria. Um, it will also, since it is removing all the bacteria and all of those other fertilizers and things like that, this will um, extend the shelf life of your fruits and veggies. So I don't know about you guys, but how many times have you gone to the grocery store on Saturday and bought all of this wonderful stuff for your family and then you get home, put it away, and Thursday night you're like, oh, wait a minute, I bought that, da, 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 and you go down and you check it out in the bottom of that fridge and it's spoiled. It was inside the plastic bag too long or you know not stored properly it just or maybe it was uh, too good to be true in the grocery store and had wax on it to make it appear like it was fresher than it was so the fruit and veggie spray will definitely extend the shelf life of your veggies so it's super easy to use you just do a quick rinse and i'll tell you what i know we don't have smell vision right now but when you use this and you're removing all of that wax, you're removing all of the grime, it will give you a appreciation for your vegetables because you're able to smell the veggies. You're able to smell the tomato again because it's just removing all of that gunk off of there. And I see plenty of stuff in here. I don't know how well it would show up on camera. This is really too big to hold up but the color of the water was crystal clear when I started and it's kind of a grayish now. Um, there's a lot of little pieces of stuff in there. And I'm sure there's a lot of microscopic things. So you see this uh, mat that I'm using? This is our dish mat. So this dish mat will hold a quarter cup of water. It comes in a gray, a graphite gray and a mushroom color. I love this. I use this to wash my dishes if I don't want to run the dishwasher. And then I use it for little things like this. I can hang it up when I'm done to dry, but it's just fantastic. So, uh, so we have our veggie bags. This is what I bring my veggies home with. Um, so our produce bags, they reduce plastics. Um, I'm always trying to do anything I can to reduce waste in my home. And, you know, so I will take these to the grocery store with me because I'm able to, I didn't do it just now, but I'm actually able to soak my veggies right in these bags. So I can put the bag right in the soak and then take it from, I'll just do it real quick actually. So I could actually take the cucumbers and just sit them right in the veggie, soap, veggie wash and soak them just like this. And then into the colander, rinse them off just a quick rinse and then sit them on my mat 
and once they're dry, which won't take long because this mat is highly absorbent, it won't take long to dry. Once it's dry, pop it in the bottom of the fridge. And I've extended the shelf life of my veggies. I've gone from grocery to fridge and I'm good to go. So there are in the plastics in the refrigerator, I mean, in the plastics in the grocery store, like the pull down bags, even the bags we get at checkout, you know, they have a BPAs and plasticides. And there's a couple other harmful things as well, but you know, without embarrassing myself and saying them wrong, you know, there are some harmful chemicals in plastics. You guys remember, right, when there were that big push to get BPAs out of bottles because it was harmful to babies. Well, it's the same thing. There's BPAs in those little plastic bags we put our veggies in. There's BPAs in the plastic bags we bring home our groceries in. So why not eliminate as much of that stuff as we can for us now? You know, we don't have to just be little infants to stop doing those things. Let's stop doing it for our 10 year olds. Let's stop doing it for ourselves. So this is just one little way that we can stop bringing the BPAs in our home, that we can eliminate waste. Our landfills are overflowing enough as it is. So anything little I can do to try to eliminate that, you know, it's not perfect, but if I can do something to eliminate some of the trash in my home, then I will. So I think I covered about everything. Um, if you have any questions about the produce wash, how to use it, let me know. Um, I highly recommend it. It goes a long way. I've been using this for a couple months. Um, and when I do put it in here, I make sure that I just use, you know, if I had more veggies right now, I could reuse this. So I could continue to put veggies in this water and use it for a good hour and like, you know, continue to, to wash more vegetables. So it's not a one-time use. I could you know, do my whole grocery shopping list and do all the veggies, rinse them out and then put them in the fridge. So you get a lot of use out of that. It's great. Let me know if you have any questions at all. And um, I hope you come back to the channel again, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.